Okay guys, wanted to explain what I was trying to do here. This is exactly where I wanted to do the video, right in front of Chief Van House. And I got a great spot, but the weather, as you can see in the background, was really, really bad. And I had to do the best I could. My camera kept cutting off. There was rain. Um, I'll throw the best parts in here I can, and I really hope y'all enjoy this video. And leave me a like. Uh, drop me a comment down below, and y'all definitely go over and check out Brooksy's Nomadic Adventures. Thank you so much, and thank you, Appalachian Dan, for giving me all this cool stuff you did. I really appreciate that, too. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Calvin's Corner 72. I'm at Chief Van House. Check it out. It's right behind me. Got cars going both ways, so I've got to have a smoke. Appalachian Dan, this is to you, brother. I appreciate you for making this fine pipe. I'm going to smoke it for the very first time right here. Chief Van House. YTPC. This works very, very well. I really like it, man. Thank you so much. And I'm also gonna put a close-up picture of this Gorget you got me, man. He made me this, Appalachian Dan. Thank you so much for this. Y'all gonna get to see a picture of this. Really nice. But what I came here today for was for Brooksy's Nomadic Adventure. That's right, Brooksy's Nomadic Adventure. Thank you, brother. Donnie Taga, I appreciate you for making this for me. Guys, he made me some necklaces and I know they're gonna be awesome. I sent him some arrowheads. I'll show you a picture right here of what they look like. All right, guys. Here's the arrowheads. This is the case I have them in now. This is the very first arrowhead that I had John Sellers make. He backfilled it into silver. This is the second one. This is the one that I actually got. This is the other one that my other son got. And lastly, this is the arrowhead that Brooksy kept. So it's pretty cool. I'll give you all a close-up view of these. If my camera will zoom in, that is. There you go. And there's the other one. Now, all of these arrowheads, all of them I bought. See, I was just showing you the thinness of this one. But uh, all of these arrowheads I bought at a show down in South Georgia. These arrowheads I picked up at a local show. So I don't know exactly where they came from, but I want them, I wanted them to be immortalized. So instead of just giving him the arrowheads to have him make necklaces out of, I sent them to a friend of mine, John Sellers. I'll put his video link down below of where he made these for me. He done a great job. He cast these and made a cast mold and backfilled them with silver, silver coins and stuff that I had sent him and that stuff I had bought from him, some scrap silver he had. So he melted these down and made these awesome arrowheads. And I'm gonna throw a picture in here so you can check them out and see what I'm talking about. Hey y'all, wanted to show you the arrowheads, what they look like before I sent them off to Brooksy's Nomadic Adventure. John Sellers done a great job casting these, as you see down below. These are the actual arrowheads. He did a cast mold. 
I sent him some silver and I actually bought some silver off of him. He melted it down, backfilled it, and immortalized these arrowheads. They will always be here. No matter what happens to the hard ones or the real ones, we'll always have them big heavy duty silver ones. If you're interested in getting a mold, one of these molds, John still has these molds and he can make you an arrowhead. If you're interested, send him some silver. He'll get in touch with you. You'll pay him for his services and you'll have your necklace just like mine if you want it. And if you want it exactly like mine, you'll have to send it to Brooksy's Nomadic Adventure. And then he can make you one. Again, you'll have to get with them guys on that. The ring in this picture, that was a ring that I had John make out of an old uh, Mexico coin. And uh, I made it from, had him to make it for my son. He can also make rings. So John Sellers is awesome. Y'all need to check him out. He's really good at what he does. He can make just about anything. Y'all check this out. All right, y'all, here's some of the bullets that he made for me out of silver off of one mold. He put the little hasp. He can put them on the bottom, like the three to the right, or he can put them on the top, like the one to the left. Most of these I give away already, and I only kept one for myself. So all I did was give him silver coins, and he cast them for me. This bullet was found by me back a long time ago when I went metal detecting in Resaca, Georgia, I had a good day and found a lot of bullets. And this is one of them I wanted to immortalize. So John did a great job of casting this for me. And I hope y'all enjoy this. And if you're interested in one, get in touch with John Sellers. And he can cast you one because I'm sure he's still got this mold. And uh, you can have you a Civil War silver necklace. Each one of these is one ounce of silver. So it's really cool. I appreciate you doing it, John. So I sent all these silver arrowheads to Brooksy because I knew he made necklaces. And I wanted him to make me some necklaces out of a silver arrowhead from a real arrowhead. So therefore, he sent them to me, and I'm gonna open them up right here, and you and me both are gonna get to see them. And I couldn't think of a much better place to do it than right here at Chief Band House. Okay guys, let's get into it. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my God, Brooksy. I'm gonna open this live. Brooksy said to open this one last. I haven't opened them yet, but I am gonna have a slide of all the video of all of these arrowheads and things you sent me. Thank you, Brooksy, for everything, man. I really appreciate it. The weather is terrible and <coughs> Excuse me. I'm coughing. Cars going by. It's terrible. This gift was forwarded to Brooksy to give to someone else as a pay it forward. Anybody in the community. And Brooksy chose me. And I appreciate you, Brooksy, for forwarding this gift to me. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh my God. He won't tell me who it is, but they said this forward this to somebody who's deserving of it in the community. And I got a sale. This is a beautiful. The bid in. I mean, this is beautiful. And I might have to get with, in touch with uh, Hopewell NJ and have this return back to what I think it should be. Thank you so much. Brooksy, hey, I've got that necklace on. I've already opened it up. I'm sorry you missed my reaction. My camera went dead. I already had one camera go dead, and now I'm working on my actual phone camera. I'm sorry, but it is on, and I do love it. I will have a picture in here, guys, of all the arrowheads. Okay, guys, I'm just going to give you a good look at these artifacts that I got from Brooksy. I really appreciate that, Brooksy. You send these to me. Here's another look at the, uh, the celt he sent me. It's really nice. I'm so happy 
the salt come from northern Missouri. It's awesome. This point, this is a autolytic Jefferson City Church Etley from the property. Right here. It's got a beautiful base. Tip's got a little damage, but it's beautiful. Thank you, Brooksy. This is another Etley from the creek. He says he thinks it's the first or the second video from this year. So if I can, I will try to link that down below so y'all can check it out where he found this. It's pretty awesome. This is an ads from the creek. Has outer cortex with a flat end as most classic bull nose ads are made like this. It's pretty cool. You can see the bull nose on it and everything. I really enjoyed that. And this was also another ads from the Dirty Hole property. Really personal, great personal find. It's awesome. It's even got a little crystal right in there about where that chip's tuck out. I'll show you in here in just a second. Let me turn it over. There's the bull nose. Really cool. Really cool. I just wished it would, um, I wished it would focus in. There we go. Here's the crystal. Let's see. Right here. Y'all see that? It's pretty awesome, huh? Anyways, thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate it. Y'all go out there and check old Brooksy's Nomadic Adventures out. Here it is, guys. My silver necklace. Hand-woven synthetic sinew. These beads are two and three hundred year old real trade beads. There's my clasp at the top. I really enjoy it. It's so nice. Thank you so much, Brooksy. Okay, guys, here are the other two necklaces. Each of these are also one ounce of silver. He put two beads on each one of these necklaces. I really like the colors, the blue and the red. Same kind of hass. Synthetic sinew woven. Very, very nice. My boys love them. Thank you so much. This is the necklace with the actual Civil War bullet. I made it just with a little leather lanyard necklace. I put a fish hook holder on there, and uh, there it is. There's my Civil War bullet that is solid silver that John Sellers made me. I really like it. Thank you. Guys, get over and check out Brooksy's Nomadic Adventure. Almost all every one of y'all know him out anyways. He makes awesome videos. And he's a great friend. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is Captain's Corner Send Me 2 at Chief Van House. Thank you.